right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Lands a jab. Oh, roundhouse kick. with the left from the champ. Counters with the left hook, nicely done there. All right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Out of range with that kick attempt. So one minute. There it is again. Look at that. His misses are entertaining. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, 
Oh, going back to the uppercut. Well, nearly connected. Oh, nice. Big shot on the feet. Straight right hand, no good. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot. Get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down. He wants to get out of his fight. Oh, he hurt him again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Another one. Oh! He has to evade stand space. Now we're going. Two minutes to go here in round one. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, oh look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Big ground and pound. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Just misses with that one. with a right hook to the head. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area of stage. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Oh, good ground and pound here. All right, so he's got the ball. Well, he's on his back now, goes for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chair. Oh. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Grappler's delight tonight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Nice shots landing from the top position. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Round right, to next. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is a it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told him that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivering. All right, here we go with round two. Big one in there. Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Could be over soon. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Kidding me with.
with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.